Hey, it's Prixar, and we're going to look at another vintage Lego train set. This is one of those add-on accessory sets of, of a single car. It is the My Own Train set number 10014, a caboose. And it appeared as a set by itself, and it also was in uh, some other larger sets that were really just um, basically collections of some of these sets like this. So it's a 170 pieces. It was produced beginning in 2001, nine volt train era. Uh, it not, doesn't need nine volts. It's just um, a regular train. It will work with trains of today. I'll show you that. All right, here we go. We got it on the Horizon Express locomotive and it's pulling the caboose. So it is compatible. Even though the magnets are a different style than Horizon Express, uh, the only thing is it looks ridiculous connected to the Horizon Express. So we'll take the Horizon Express off. Now, this um, caboose is built minifigure scale and it does have some details on the inside of it. Unfortunately, it was not designed with a roof that is easily removed and it's hard to get in there, but we're going to try to do it anyway. All right, before I take the roof off, let me just show you all sides of it because I'm afraid I'm going to break it apart when I take the roof off, but I'll still do it. Um, it's got a little uh, special piece here. It's on both sides like that. It has the steps for the uh, train worker, the conductor, whoever it is that rides in the caboose to get in. It has a ladder up to the roof. It has these little rails up here, little handholds there. Got a bunch of windows. It's got kind of like the crow's nest area or whatever they call this upper observation part. Uh, we don't see cabooses on trains anymore. Um, when I was a child they still had cabooses. It was around the beginning of around 1980 is when cabooses I guess started kind of going away. They got replaced by a red light with a radio. I think the main purpose of the caboose is to make sure the back of the train is still there. <laughs> Uh, they did serve other purposes, uh, switching and picking up mail and things like that. But um, this, I'm going to take the roof off now. Okay, so they didn't give you a quick release roof. But when you get on the inside of it here, there's a little stove. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little fire under there. A little chimney. It's got his cup. And there's a little desk for the conductor to sit. So the minifigure can get in there. But as you see, I had to take the bricks apart in order to get to it. So it wasn't as well designed as some of the trains are today. And so then you have to struggle to put it back. Oh, hey, I got it back together fairly easy that time, mostly. Sounds like something broke. Make sure I got it together on all sides. So that's the one drawback to it is that um, it's not easily removed. Probably could be converted just by replacing some pieces here uh, with tiles is there's a like a one by a ten I think it is brick here probably could put change all these bricks to plates and then make the last row mostly tiles with a few studs exposed and then make an easily removed roof that way but yeah that should work except for these two sections here you'd have to have your studs here to hold those two sections Anyway, that's the caboose. It's set 10014. Here's the instructions for it. It's all the My Own Train sets have this look. The instructions have this look. They're this medium sized instruction manual. No other details or information about other sets or anything like that. Just a generic instruction. That way, when they made those multi sets, they could put these in there, I guess. So, anyway, from 2001. The caboose. Everybody's got to have a little red caboose. Chug chug. Anyway, thanks for watching. This is Brickstar.